Click tracking allows you to track any click on the page. In this example, I will show you how to track this call to action button. So let's go ahead and add an event. And we have a few interesting things here. The first thing is, of course, the custom event name. This is how the event will show up in Google Analytics. So let's call it button click. And then we need a way to actually bind it to the button. The way the plugin does this is by using CSS selectors. In this case, we can see that we added a custom class for this button. It's called called a CDA button. And we will use that. So let's add, because this is a CSS selector, we will add a dot because it's a class called the action button. And then we're pretty much done. We can also add additional properties, and these will be the metrics and dimensions uh, that will be used in Google Analytics to provide more data about the button. So, for example, we can call it, we can say text call to action and add this property and save. And that's it. Now you're tracking this button.